What's going on everybody? It's your boy Tanner Wyman of Barbarian Bite. Today I'm going to be showing you guys three super killer and effective upper chest exercises. Let's get straight into this one. All right guys, before we get into this, I want to make mention if you want a bigger upper chest, start with an upper chest isolation exercise, such as the low to high cable flies or cable crossovers that you guys see me performing right here. Now, this is just so that you can pre-exhaust it before you get into the rest of your exercise routine, which will most likely consist of pressing. Trust me, I implemented this and my weak ass little tiny upper chest that I had months ago has since come up a fair amount. I'm not gonna say it's monstrous, but the results have been very impactful. Now, the first exercise we're showing you guys here is yes, some low to high cable flies, which you probably have already done. However, I've changed these things up so that we can increase time under tension and maximize the amount of damage that we can do to the upper chest. Now, as you'll see, there's two things I've added in. Thing number one is a slight isometric hold at the peak of the contraction for about one second. Now, I want you to focus on not just internally rotating your shoulders and leveraging your joints and your bones to hold this here. Rather, what you're focusing on doing is keeping those hands completely completely neutral and squeezing your pecs, aka your chest, as hard as you possibly can at that point right there. From there, bring those cables down in a nice and slow eccentric portion, about one to two seconds. This is what causes all those micro muscle damages that you need for your body to go, hey, we've got damage, let's rebuild this up, and guess what, that's when you get bigger. Focusing on time under tension, as I said, so you wanna go for a higher number of repetitions, about 12 to 15. Don't use too much weight. You don't need spinal flexion. You don't need momentum. You don't need to cheat to get there. Okay, exercise number two we're getting into here because everybody's gonna wanna do some presses. We're gonna be doing some incline dumbbell bench presses. Now there's a reason I do this with dumbbells as opposed to barbells. And the main reason is so you can get adduction, meaning you're bringing those dumbbells together. You're contracting your muscle and you're shortening it as much as you possibly can. The upper chest that is. Thing number two we're doing right here is if you can't quite see it, I'm not actually locking my elbows out. I am stopping just before that portion right there. This allows me to keep the muscle under tension the entire time and I don't get to give it a rest by allowing my elbows to lock out and taking all of the tension off. This will significantly put a new type of demand on the muscle and keep it working throughout the entire set as well slow and controlled tempo. This one's pretty straightforward. Opt for a higher number of repetitions because most guys are going for about, you know, three to five reps, trying to lift as much as they possibly can. But if you're looking for growth of the upper chest, start focusing on hypertrophy stimulating habits, such as a higher number of repetitions. Maybe in the rep range of about 12 to 15 repetitions. This one's really good, man. Now, exercise number three, and I wanna mention, this one is very tough. This is the advanced version. I'm gonna show you a little bit more of a uh, less difficult exercise directly after right here. And these are some elevated push-ups off of a medicine ball. Now the reason we're using the medicine ball is because in order to stabilize the ball and to have your hands that close together, this achieves that one thing I was mentioning with the dumbbell bench press, which is adduction. Adduction while you're also pressing from the angle that is going to help you to hit the upper pecs. So as you can imagine by just those points right there and everything I've already mentioned, that's what makes this exercise so damn effective. Of course, because not everybody's gonna be able to do it off of the med ball. Even when I was doing it, I was like, damn, this is pretty tough. You can also do it from a pair of dumbbells and what you'll notice is I've positioned those dumbbells together right next to each other and what I'm doing is while I'm pressing upwards I'm not just pushing myself off the ground again I'm focusing on adduction activating my pecs by doing that and trying to squeeze those dumbbells together as hard as I possibly can as I'm lifting myself upwards and these are three super killer upper chest exercises that I think you guys should definitely include in your upper chest arsenal so there you guys go three upper chest exercises that are incredibly awesome let me know which one was your favorite I know that a lot of these are just variations of exercises, but these minor variations of these exercises are like the keys that I've found to making these exercises many times more effective and better at actually targeting my upper chest and stimulating it for hypertrophy. As I mentioned, I used to have a really, really shitty upper chest. I don't have the best upper chest by any means right now, uh, but the growth that I've been able to sustain because of the things that I just mentioned in those clips that we were just talking about right there have really helped me to speed up my rate of growth compared to back in the day when I would just try and do incline bench presses or incline, you know, whatever, all these different exercises. So this will definitely help. Please try this. Try and do this, you know, two times per week. If you're having a weak upper chest, the same way that I did, try and do this two times a week, rest 48 hours in between each one of these workouts. And that's pretty much everything. And just out of curiosity to see who makes it this far, be sure to leave a comment of what I'm about to put on the screen right now. An armored what? An armored what? If you guys enjoyed the video, then be sure to give your boy a like down below. And also be sure to subscribe for weekly workout tips and nutrition tips that you will not want to miss. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. I'll see you all in the next video.